first football memory would probably be playing for Reading at Cantley Park um, every Saturday morning, going there and whether it was absolutely tipping down with rain or sunny, I can't really remember the sunny times more the rain times because I didn't enjoy them very much. Uh, I just finished You, Bandersnatch, which was a bit weird. Just downloaded something on Netflix but I can't actually remember what it's called, so <laughs> I'm, not more of, I'm more of a movie girl than a series. My family are very quiet. Uh, we're not a very loud family, apart from my family up north, so my dad and brother live down south and then my other family live up north, so we're very different. My friends are very crazy, growing up with my best friend all along through playing football, still best friends now, I'd probably say that I'm probably the quieter one out of all my friends, they're all a bit mad. I went to see Calvin Harris in a really seclosed um, venue, which was amazing, so I'd probably say for atmosphere that one, but for everything else I'd probably have to say Beyonce. Nice movie or watching the football and just chilling out on the sofa, just as chilled as possible. I've probably learned how to deal with every type of different emotions that come through you, whether it's, you know, not to get too high when everything is going amazing and try not to get too low when, you know, things are going against you. I think that's one of the biggest things I've learned over my career. I think don't ever give up. Keep doing what you love to do. I think you know, as much as there are the stereotypes, for me it was more about proving them people wrong and playing against them and proving them wrong. So I'd always say make sure that you do the absolute best that you can and try and change some perceptions while you do it. I think being proud about being a footballer would just be seeing all the young girls who are coming out to watch you play. You know, when I was growing up, I was probably one of them young girls going to the England games and standing there with my England shirt and, you know, really wanting the team to win and now seeing that young girls are doing that with my name on the back of their shirts, you know, it's really, really special and to be considered a role model, I still can't get my head around it because I'm just Fran who just loves to play football. I think nowadays, you know, a lot of people inspire me, my teammates inspire me every day, seeing their work ethic that they put into training, my family, you know, fully supporting me all the way, my dad's made sure that he's come out to every tournament that I've played in, people who are, have been injured for a long time who haven't been able to play, you know, coming back into an environment and training at that level and playing at that level. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people in my, in my circle, in my life, very inspire me every day. My first Chelsea goal, scoring on my England debut, scoring Chelsea's first Champions League goal, World Cup, scoring in the Euros, scoring in the FA Cup final, the goal for Reading against Arsenal. That's got to be up there, definitely. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop there. We'll, we'll go with them once, that's okay. <laughs> Alex Pop. It's definitely up there for Germany. Marijan is definitely up there. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably still say Lauren Holiday was unbelievable when I played against her. So yeah, I'd probably say out of them. Favorite game? I have to go with the FA Cup final at Wembley. It's not a bad one. <laughs>